Good evening. The Church of Scientology Sydney headquarters remains a crime scene right now after a man was stabbed to death inside the secret compound. A 16-year-old has been arrested and continues to be questioned, but there's been movement on that in the past few minutes. Natasha Squarey is at Chatswood Police Station for us. And investigative reporter Brian Seymour, who has a world reputation as an expert in Scientology, is live in New York tonight for his insights. Natasha, let's uh, first go to you. You have some breaking news on the accused. That's right, Michael. Well, the 16-year-old boy has been in custody now for almost 10 hours. Detectives here at Chatswood Police Station were hoping to formally interview him tonight, but right now he is in the process of being transferred to the Royal North Shore Hospital to undergo a mental health assessment after this horrific double stabbing. Now, police say the teenager went to see his mother at the Scientology headquarters this afternoon just after 1 p.m. It's then when he allegedly became problematic and two staff members decided to walk him out as they were trying to take him from that Chatswood complex. It's alleged he pulled a knife and stabbed a 24-year-old man in the neck. A 30-year-old staff member also received some cuts to his hands. Now, he was also trying to step in, but thankfully those wounds are only superficial. Now, both men, they were taken to hospital. Sadly, that 24-year-old man didn't make it. The 30-year-old man has been released from hospital and he's at home now recovering. As for their alleged attacker, he was found at the scene. It's uh, alleged that he was quite um, confront him, confronting at that scene. Police were forced to pull out their tasers. He then dropped that knife and he was taken into custody. Michael. Tasha, has the Scientology Church said anything about this this evening? Just a very short written uh, statement, Michael, just saying that the victim was a beloved member of the church and the very unfortunate matter is now in the hands of police. It's then added that the church, its staff and any witnesses who were at that complex at the time of this double stabbing will help detectives with the investigation. All right, Tash, thank you. Let's go to Brian now in New York. Brian, as I said at the beginning, you're an internationally renowned expert on the church at the moment. The police investigation into this one it's going to get complicated, right? It will, Mike. And can I begin by offering my condolences to the family of the man who's died today? Look, mm. um, this is a tragedy any way you look at it. And it is more complicated. It always is when Scientology is involved. They have a department called the Office of Special Affairs, which uh, will be right now handling this uh, in terms of briefing staff on what they can and should say and to whom. Um, they are cooperating with police. I'm sure they are. Um, and it's not clear yet whether this attack was in any way related to Scientology theory or practice or, as the police say, a totally separate, uh, independent domestic dispute that spilled over from the day before. What do you think would be going on inside the church right now? You know how it works uh, inside out. Now, they are allowing police on the property, of course, because it's a crime scene and, as you said, they're cooperating. Uh, but uh, they are known to be very uh, secret. They do not like scrutiny. So what would be going on inside the church? I can tell you exactly what's going on. As soon as those alarm bells rang out at 12.30 in the afternoon earlier today, they were heard in Los Angeles by the leader, David Miscavige, and they will be brainstorming, as I say, with the Office of Special Affairs and leaders in the C organisation, their elite unit, how to handle this. And uh, that's a Scientology term. And that means to um, control the language and the, uh, the, the way this is perceived. They're worried about bad publicity um, for Scientology, even if it isn't, as I say, directly related to their theory or practice. It did happen on their grounds. And um, the other thing uh, people might be wondering is why these two Taiwanese nationals, nationals are even there. They've been recruiting people in, in Taiwan for about a decade because membership in Australia has plummeted to less than 1,500 people. They need people to staff this unit where they charge people from around Asia up to $1,000 an hour for high-end services. So a lot of Taiwanese uh, people staffing and working and coming for services to Chatswood in Sydney. So Brian, does that sort of, uh, does that explain that enormous building that the Scientologists have here? I think it might surprise many to know that that is the largest Scientology building and or complex outside of the United States in suburban Chatswood in Sydney. It, it is the largest single building, I think. I think the East Grinstead complex at uh, St Hill, uh, the manor, uh, which is a complex of buildings in London, uh, just outside of London, might be bigger, but certainly it's a bigger single building. It's called an advanced ideal org. It has 60 auditing rooms, a spa, 
they uh, do the purification run down there and they have uh, up to a capacity of up to 450 people. There's nowhere near that many going there. Um, Neighbours report buses rolling in at about 3 a.m. in the morning carrying a lot of these Taiwanese nationals in there to staff this and offer these services. But yes, it's the place where you go for the operating Thetan levels. To give you an example, Tom Cruise is operating Thetan level 8 and last year Kate Sobrano uh, achieved the, the top level of OT8. Mm. All right, Brian Seymour uh, in New York. Thank you for your insight on that and also Natasha Squarey for the, uh, the, the update from Chatswood Police Station. Thank you to you both.